Gab Cruz is hard to miss on game days at Progressive Field. Here she is with her fun, bubbly personality on full display as one of the Indians in park hosts. While you've probably seen her laugh and smile a whole lot, she's actually endured some very tough times. He's shaking me and, and wrapping his arms around my neck on and off, just shaking me. It was a dark time in Gab Cruz's life. She was enrolled at John Carroll University and was dating her high school sweetheart. As sick as it is, I, even at that point, I didn't want to leave the relationship. I loved him, despite this side of him. Gab says she endured physical abuse throughout the three-year relationship, which included being shoved and getting her hair pulled. Everybody knew I loved him, and I worked so hard to make myself lovable for him. So I think I was really devastated in the end that nothing I did, and I tried a lot to, to be perfect, perfect. I was really trying to achieve something unachievable, to be perfect for him, and, that, and still knowing that wasn't enough and that this relationship was never going to work, it devastated me. Gab got help. All right, I'm just going to take off. She made a choice not to walk, but to run, run, run away from an unhealthy relationship. I joke and tell people I do running because I can't afford therapy. Chase you, chase you. It's great for everything, and I think this was go, definitely a place where running helped me through, too. I didn't win a single race when I was with him. Not a single race. And then I finished my career with seven school records, nine OAC championships, a trip to nationals. Winning alone didn't clear the skies for Gab. Nothing was ever good enough. Talking no about it. You leading by example. Did. Showing men how to act. Gab started a nonprofit organization. You have nothing to hide. Called Love Doesn't Shove. Yeah, so it started with that kind of verbal and emotional. To discuss domestic sort of violence with youth. Controlling behavior on his end. Like Avon High School's football team. So Love Doesn't Shove is really what I do. I want to like goal oriented around educating young people. What's acceptable, what's unacceptable. The sun is starting to shine in Gab's life. Going from my confidence levels a few years ago to right now, it's like wow. Gab has run through some dark times. She's now faster than ever, making strides toward a better, brighter future. I can't change him. I can't change the way he is anything about him, but I can change the conversation around dating violence and how we talk about healthy relationships. That's closure enough for me. To find out why Gab decided to share her story with me now and why I was grateful to be the one to help get across an important message, make sure you check out my blog post. Lauren Brill, News 5.